Stop messing around and let's get locked up. Yeah, sorry. Hey, when we're done, do you want to help me with some practice? No. Fine. It's not like I didn't time you for 20 minutes. Jules, the test is easy. OK, you'll be fine. Can you at least quiz me? Fine. Drowning victim. Okay? No pulse, no breath. Rescue breaths or compressions first? Compressions. No. CPR starts with compressions, then breaths. Not on a drowning victim. It's two breaths, 30 compressions. compressions. Yeah. I'm gonna fail this test. Relax, okay? You'll be fine. You'll do great. Hey, Liam. What do you want me to do with this? I don't care. Abby, can you lock up? I gotta get some food. Yeah, sure. And guys, when Ryan is here, you can't be screwing around. Got it. Got it. <laughs> So, did you hear back from Florida? Yeah, they aren't interested. Well, there's always next season. What are you going to do till then? Probably work here. You have to hate working here. You do all of Liam's job, but like half of the pay. Yeah, but he lets me have extra pool time. But without the team, what's the point? And Liam's cool. Okay, Mike, you only like Liam because Liam likes you. But he sucks as a manager. I mean, he's not that bad. Besides, in just a few months, you'll be a hot shot when we're in another D1 program. are doing something called working. Shut up. <laughs> you okay, Leo? Rough night? Don't even remember it. Yeah, I'll bet.
It's Mike. Mike, can you hear me? He's dead. Shut up, Liam. No, boss. No breath. Be getting CPR. Liam, go get an AED. Liam, where's Jules? Uh, she, she she's calling 911. It's Mike. It's Mike. Guys, I eat it. Oh. Oh, uh, yes, uh, yes, Mel. 20. I, I don't know. He's not breathing. I, I don't know. He was underwater for a long time. Just hurry up and get here. That's all. What now? Trey, I can't hurt it. You can't. I can't. You can't. Two and thirty. Abby. Sure. Abby. What's the point? He's gone. We have to try. He's gone. Analyze Just stop. Scan clear. No shock advised. If no fault, start CPR. How's everyone? Ryan, I'm gonna close up for the day. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Look, you guys did a great job. There wasn't anything else you could have done. And he was a good kid. That's why I hate to bring this up now, but do any of you have any idea how he got in? The locker room door must have been left open. Who closed last night? I did. How'd it get left open? The door was locked. Jules and Mike were here with me. Then they left. I turned off the lights and shut the door on my way out. Abby, are you sure the door was shut? Yeah. I think so. I was with her. She locked the door. But she just said you left with Mike. Okay, everyone, we can't start playing the blame game, okay? Like, the police and... Potentially, the school conduct board are going to look into what happened. So Liam and I will go over some additional procedures and safety precautions we can put in place to prevent future incidents. But for now, all of you, just go home. How's the studying going? That's not important right now. Meet me after work today, okay? Abby, you have other Jules. things. 
you're gonna pass that test. The police have ruled Mike's death an accidental drowning. I won't get into the details, but it appears he was intoxicated. That being said, conduct is still looking into it. So I've sat down with Liam, and we've discussed some additional safety procedures we can put in place around here. OK. I'm going to make this quick so we all can get back to work. Um, so we're going to get some new gear, new tubes, a second backboard to go at the other end of the pool. Also, I will now have the only set of keys besides the master set. Now, I have been lenient in the past if I have caught you swimming alone, and I have let you all hang out in groups after hours. We aren't going to do that anymore. Everyone got that? Abby, hang back a sec. What's up? I'm going to need your keys. Right. Also, Ryan and I will both be at your hearing tomorrow. My what? Did you not see the email? Abby, the council suspects some negligence from our staff committed to Mike's death particularly negligence from you. So what does that mean? This is bullshit. They can't expel you. You know what happens when you get expelled, Abby? No more swimming here. Probably no more swimming anywhere else. Jules, you're not helping. They can't fire you. Please, just sit. Just sit. They can fire me, and they're going to. Don't say that. Maybe it was my fault. No. You did it all. You did everything right. Did I, though? Did I? Why? Liam's. Yeah. So that's how you got in? Yeah. Liam must have been drinking with him.
Morning. You ready for the hearing? Yep. Listen, whatever happens today, I want you to know that you did the best you could. Mike was long gone by the time you got to him. And even if the school decides it was your fault, I could never, ever blame you. I know what happened. What? I know that you were here drinking with Mike the night he died. <laughs> uh huh. That's a pretty low blow, Abby. Mike was a friend. And I wasn't here that night. So you think Mike came back here by himself? He found the door unlocked, I don't know, got drunk and decided to go for a swim? That's what it looks like. You were here, Liam. Probably with a few other people, too. How long until someone else says something? Did you find your keys yet? Not sure what you're talking about. Right. Mr. Davis? Casey. Smell? Brian? Casey. Casey. Everyone have a seat. Miss Miller, my name is Casey Deacon. We are here to discuss the events around the death of Mike Walker. Now, the police have ruled Mr. Walker's death as an accidental drowning. However, the university suspects negligence may have occurred on the part of you, Miss Miller. Now with us here today is our conduct panel. Once the hearing is over, you will all be dismissed and the panel will make their decision. Ms. Miller, do you have any questions around this time? No. Okay. We'll start with our questions. Ms. Miller, who was the last person to leave the Aquatic Center on the night of January 22nd, 2022? I was. Were you with Mr. Walker on the night of January 22nd, 2022? Yes. Did you or Mr. Walker have any alcohol while you were together that night? No. Did Mr. Walker happen to share the rest of his plans for that evening? He said he was seeing some friends. Did he say who? Yes. Who? Um, Liam Davis. What? Mr. Davis, please do not speak until you are addressed. Ms. Miller, are you referring to the same Liam Davis that's sitting to the left of you right now? Yes. And how do you know Mr. Davis was there that night? He gave Mike his keys. How do you know that? Because I found the keys in Mike's locker. You went through his locker? Mr. Davis, please. No. No, Liam, go ahead. Casey, you really believe this? How drunk was he when you left him? He was your friend, Liam. Casey, this is ridiculous. All right, everyone stop. Liam. Mr. Davis. Do you know where your work keys are right now? Yeah. They are in my office.
Casey, maybe we should have Abby step out. How'd it go? What? Your certification. I passed. See, I told you you would. Thank you. You're welcome. What'd they say? Well, he was here. And he was drunk. And he left Mike and a few other guys behind to lock up. You were right, Abby. Mike would be proud of you. Yeah, he'd be proud of you too. <sighs> All right, boss. What's next? 